Uh, back here, Simon, overnight, I was looking at some of the quotes. Gareth Southgate has questioned the terms of the eight-month ban given to Ivan Tony for breaching betting rules by suggesting that uh, Tony uh, has been somewhat abandoned. Uh, Ivan Tony was suspended by the FA until January next year. Is fined fifty grand after admitting two hundred and thirty-two breaches of betting rules. He's not allowed to return to training until September the seventeenth. So Ivan, goodbye, and we'll see you when we see you. And Gareth has questioned that. I have spoken with him. I don't know if that's allowed, by the way. But if it if it isn't, then they can ban me and not add to his. Uh, look, the ban is the ban. It is what it is. I think he recognised and accepted uh, the punishment. What bothers me is we've got to look after people and, you know, he's injured at the moment. What does he do about getting fit? What does he do? How do we give him some structure over the next few months that he can develop himself or be a better person at the end of it or have experiences that he might not experience? So... I don't like the idea that we just leave somebody that they're not allowed to be a part of the football community. I don't think that's how we should work. I don't think that's how the best rehabilitation programmes would work. But he knows that we picked him because we felt until there was a charge, he should be allowed to play. And when he comes back, if he plays well, then we'll, we'll pick him. So um, it won't have any bearing but I think he'll have additional motivation through what he's experiencing. And I think he's a resilient guy with great character. And um, we're here to support him. What do you think of that? Is Gareth right? I mean, should the central theme of bans be about punishment or rehabilitation? Both, shouldn't it? It should also be about um, consequences and ensuring that people uh, uh, like Ivan and those around him don't emulate this and find themselves in a similar position because whilst you don't want to make someone the cautionary tale, there is no example like the example of someone else being consequenced to concentrate other people's minds. Isn't it interesting? I mean, the FA blazer wearing Gareth Southgate suddenly decided to speak out against the people that have employed him. I would have thought that the FA that have put this fine down, the very people that employ him, won't be too impressed by it. I do like the part at the end. It's quite good though, isn't it? I do it? like the part at the end. Well, you know I'm not an admirer of his. I, I admire a certain aspect of his work, but I'm not in the camp that he's going to win anything, and that's what an England manager's job should be. Should be. Um, I'm interested that in the end part, which I think is good, that he he is clear that he will pick him on form, and that these things are in the past when they become the past. So I like that part. Um, I'm not entirely sure, you know, where Gareth's coming from. He picked Ivan Tony last year and didn't even play him. Called him up to a squad and didn't even play him. So why is I don't know why all of a sudden he has to be his spokesman, Ivan has and I don't want it for him either because I think he's a super player I think he's a super young man I know his dad I think he's a really really decent lad and I think he's going to be a already is a top footballer but he has breached the rules and consequences can't just be in our sort of liberal manby pamby society that we mustn't have people we only focus on the rehabilitation we also have to part of rehabilitation is people accepting a consequence for their behavior and that consequence in this instance is you cannot play competitive football. You can train again in September. You can get yourself physically fit and keep yourself ticking over in the same way that you'd have to do once you're recovering from injury. The injury that you've done is a slightly psychological one now because you've taken it upon yourself to breach football rules. You've compromised your club. You've compromised the financials of your mm. football club, put them in a difficult position. So I don't know quite why, I don't know quite why Gareth wants to die on this particular hill. It's not a bad question though, isn't it? You, when you think of it, Southgate is basically saying, and I, I quite like the fact that do you know what, I've spoken to him and I don't care if anybody knows that. When Southgate says, well, how, do we give him, how do we give him, Tony, some structure over the next few months that he can develop himself or be a better person at the end of it? What's the point? Well, did you Wait, see, well, okay. What's the merit in saying to Tony, get out and but, don't darken this door but, until we no, see you but, again for training in September. I don't no, care what you do, but, no, but beat it. But nobody said he was a bad person. People said that there's a rule that you've broken. It's a very significant rule in football. It underpins and underscores the integrity of the game. It brings the game into disrepute if you're betting on football matches that you were either yeah, a participant he's a participant. In, right? Yeah. And you're bringing the game into a very serious space. But I'm sure he knows that now. Right. So then he's, he'll, he's sitting at home thinking knows, that right now. He, he might be listening to and us. He, and he but knows, what's wrong with what Gareth he, is saying? And he knows that how? Why does he know it? Well, you would think. Well, because what else because is he, he doing? Because Nothing. He's been, because he's been consequenced. Yeah. So when we talk about rehabilitation... What do we mean? It's very easy to throw these examples around. What would you have them do 
Gareth. You've, you're very you're, you're suggesting that the 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 the, the, re, the resolution isn't about consequence. It's about rehabilitation. They go, they go hand in hand. Right? Mm. No one's extricating him from society. No one is suggesting that he doesn't have a welcome place back. No one's suggesting, not even Gareth, is that there's going to be a consequence for your actions post the serving of the consequence that you have been deemed. Last week, people were arguing about the fact, why is it eight months when three months of it's during well, the pre-season? Now you've got the England manager coming out with a player that he picked last year that he didn't even bleed and play, so wasted everybody's time calling him up to the squad. So what are we doing this for? Well, what's wrong with that, though? I mean, again, I said... Because it's Gareth, none of his business. Who's? That's what's wrong with it. Gareth. None of his of business. Of course it's... He's England manager. So what? He's one of his players. It's none of his business. It's none of his business. It's uh, Ivan Tony has been consequence because he's broken football rules, and those rules we know, are we very know clear. That. We know so, that. So what? So and what, Ivan knows that. So why is Gareth needing to weigh in on this? And this is ridiculous. Who said? So basically, no one can speak to Ivan. Well, he, he was asked who's, about who's it saying no one can answer. speak to him? It's a silly analysis. I haven't spoken to him, but if I do know, if I am spoken, to him, it'll get a longer band. Of course, you can speak to him. Of course you can't. You can speak to him. No one said he's got to be mute. Of course, that'd be ridiculous. The point of, of this no, is... No, but Gareth's point is he's been chucked out the, the football community, if you like, no, for he's the next himself, few months. He's chucked himself right, out. He's chucked himself out. Yeah. All right. But, I mean, what, what Gareth is saying is, look, it, we, we, we shouldn't really have him sit in the corner with a dunce's hat on. He hasn't he hasn't committed, you know, mass murder. No, so why don't we help him? Because if now, he did, he'd be banned Gareth's for life, saying, wouldn't he? How do we give him some structure over the next few months? I think what he's suggesting there is... Why don't we throw some kind of recognised, respected fitness expert, Ivan, who can he can he can go I don't know somewhere abroad, Spain, Italy, somewhere, and train with this guy for a few? Why don't we? Why don't we why does, enable that? Okay, so again, or even better, why why does it why is he again, not allowed to train with Brentford? I don't again, understand why he's been cut off because there. because because those are the rules that have been set down by the football establishment, and those there are consequences for your behaviour. Now let's let's evaluate this and say. OK, Ivan is not going to suffer a single iota of financial damage as a result of that. So if he's still getting paid seventy, eighty thousand pounds £80,000 a week, he can take himself off to, the, to Portugal and he can take himself off of there with a football trainer and keep himself fit because in the bigger scheme of things, what Ivan's actions have done have not just hurt him and they won't hurt him. He will lose four months of football. Right? He'll come back. Some bigger football club will probably poach him from Brentford, and the reward will be that, that that's what they do. But to be uh, fair to Southgate, he was asked this yesterday, Simon. He's hardly going to say uh, Ivan's in exile at the moment, and he deserves to be. Well, he's asked the question. They don't have to answer it. You can simply say if you want to. And he doesn't. I mean, listen. I'm having I'm having a, a reaction to his action. I believe that there needs to be in society people consequence for their behaviour. I'm coming from the position. I really like Ivan Tony. I think he's a brilliant footballer. I wish this not for him. But I also believe that if you want something eradicated from the game, whether it's descent on the pitch, manager's behaviour on the sidelines, or that. this sort of things, you've got to mean it. I agree. And, but and, I mean, and, and no one's sending... He's got four months. He's not going off to Alcatraz and going in solitary for ten years. He's getting consequence for four months of his playing career. Most of them hate pre-season anyway. They can't wait not to be part of it. So let's have it right. There's so what some is messages it coming in there. Gar should have kept quiet. What's my I've, point? Ivan's the PFA's responsibility until September yeah. when Brentford have decisions to make. Where are they? They've not said a bleeding word because they're completely and utterly useless because they can't defend the indefensible in this situation. Look, I, if, I'm not suggesting the ban is right and wrong. This time last week, you were making a case that this, this ban isn't long enough. And that ultimately, three months of it are doing a pre-season. I was asking Make if your it was up. long enough. And he, he, look, he's been banged to rights. He's admitted to yeah. one, you know, over 200 of them, of course. And those are the rules. And yeah. he is a participant. And the rules say, do we think it's as serious? a participant, I mean, do we? I mean, I suppose the evaluation can be: Is it critical to the game that players don't bet? and that the sporting integrity of the game never comes into jeopardy. We never have a situation like they've had in Italy. Well, that's, that's an important aspect of it. If that's important, then the consequences of doing it have to be equally as important and equally as significant. But and we that... should his rehab not feature in this as well. But why didn't he say about Kieran Trippier then? Well, I, didn't, uh, I didn't even pipe up about Kieran Trippier. When Kieran Trippier was banned. The, but yeah, but the, the case is oh, because... incomparable. This, this is, this is a whopping... Well, look at it. Kieran, Tripp mean, Kieran Trippier lost... Hang on. Kieran Trippier lost three months of a season. Uh, Ivan Tony's losing four months of a season. What is your point? Ivan Tony can keep himself fit. Ivan Tony can go over to America or any part of the world on a huge salary that he's still getting paid for doing nothing and keep himself Kieran fit. Kieran get banned for 10 weeks. Uh, uh, Tony, Tony's eight months. I mean, they're not exactly yeah, comparable, but, but, are they? But they are, and Tony's but, 232 but, betting they, breaches. They are comparable because we're talking about 16, 17 weeks, in Ivan Tony's case, of live football. And we're talking about 10 weeks in Kieran Trippier's. So there is a comp uh, uh, an element of an ability to be able to compare 
I'm not suggesting that this is an ideal solution, but if you want to rehabilitate someone, what is the consequence then? A smack on the wrist. It's not serious. It's not serious because it's only football. It's not serious because it's only betting and it's only the sporting integrity of the bleeding sport that we're debating about. Maybe he could be allowed to train. He can Brentford. train. He can go and train somewhere he else. Can't, he can't with Brentford. Not until September. So there's no consequence then. So what you're saying is, and I, I take your point, which is that, and I take Gareth's point as we delve into it, which is you can't play, but you can train, mm. right? And, of course, keeping you in train gives you a sporting chance because right. there is an argument about when players get consequence, they get slung out to the academy, and in comes the trappy PFA saying, you can't send him over to the academy. That's compromising his sporting ability. He needs to train with like for like. So there is an element of that. Yes. But, but no one is trying, I don't think, unless you do, that they're trying to single Ivan Tony out and make Ivan Tony uh, a cautionary tale. It is by definition, but I think they're slapping him with the consequence to his behaviour. And it's not a case of does he need to be... How, to, Ivan is going to become a better person. With all due respect to Ivan and his dad, Ivan, who I like very much, yeah, yeah. what are we talking about here? Is he a bad person initially? So he, if, by continuing to train with Brentford, uh, Gareth Southgate's logic is he's going to become a better person. He's going to become a better person, probably, by accepting the consequences of his actions and coming back stronger. Yeah. I would suggest. And I don't necessarily... He, I, 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 undoubtedly, I think you're right. I mean, he's got, simply got, to learn from this. And I do like the, the bit at the end, so let's get balanced into it before everyone thinks it's me bashing Gareth Southgate. I do like it that he talks about the fact that he comes back into the fold based upon his form. Because we all know... Mm undeniably and unequivocally, because Gareth Southgate only picks players on form, right? Yeah. That's how I, it works. I think it's a bit here because it's Gareth who's saying it, you're not having it. That, that this this no, thought, if I, if there I, should be more if, thought if, in rehab. If Daniel Levy said it, I wouldn't have had it. <laughs> and I'll have anything from Daniel Levy, won't I? Let's oh, have it right. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Having said that, if Gareth had said yesterday, no comment, don't want to talk about it, Tony thing, you'd have been down his throat no, for I would that have as said, well. No, I, I would have said, no, I wouldn't. I would have said, yeah, it's not your place to comment on it. You and were, you work for the FA, naughty, naughty, naughty. You know you're a blazer boy. Mm. Keep in line. Get yeah. a set of balls now, are we? I like that. Paul, the Brentford fan. Simon, you know you're on dodgy ground. He does. He does. Jim White. And Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.